Well, as Illinois grapples with more children getting sick, the State Board of Education is working to make sure that local school districts are able to better protect students. Now, the most recent guidance from the agency involves student bans. News Channel 20's Alyssa Hui has the latest. Some of the guidance from the state recommends music classes like band and choir to take place outdoors, having shorter rehearsal times and maintaining at least three feet of social distance. Music teachers I spoke to here at Greenview say they're already following these recommendations. Whether it's singing or playing a musical instrument, teaching music to kids is what Linda Shepard knows best. Music is an, a good outlet for the kids. They need that stress relief, anything we can do to put a little bright spot on their day. But teaching this kind of art in a pandemic hasn't been easy. When you're dealing with singing, speaking in terms of speech, um, and wind instruments, uh, they're aerosol producing. Barry Hauser, who helped the Illinois State Board of Education come up with music guidance, says some recommendations include having classes and rehearsal outdoors, maintaining three foot social distance, and not sharing instruments, sheet music, and other equipment, which is what music teachers in the Greenview School District have been following. We've been doing that all along. So even last year when we were fortunate enough to be in, in person, we were outside doing those things. Hauser says while some parts of the guidance can seem strict, it's in place for a reason. We have liability and we have a responsibility to make sure that we're keeping all of our students as safe as possible, but also making sure that we keep music education alive and well in our state. Other school districts like Ball Chatham say they will follow the state's guidance for music classes, continue to review the recommendations and make any changes necessary. Reporting in Greenview, I'm Alyssa Hui. Thank you, Alyssa.